what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today playing some more balloons tower defense battles guys i love this game you love this game show us some love down below if you wanna you don't have to i'm not forcing you to but i'd really appreciate it so as you can see no face cam today guys because this gameplay right here i was down on the couch and i was like you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna go and use the super monkey now i'd never really used the super monkey up to this point i'd used it in the past on um like balloon tower defense 5 because the super monkey is beast so i was like all right you know here's what we're gonna do we're gonna see if the super monkey is good in balloon tower defense battles and i know that some of you right now are commenting you're like that's right you're hitting all those buttons and you're typing no the super monkey sucks early game the super monkey sucks yes if you don't have enough money to upgrade him to a sun god or a robo super monkey whatever the heck that's name is if you don't have that kind of money you're not working with that kind of moolah then you're right the super monkey's not that good especially since he can't see camo i mean come on uh, seriously he's a super monkey and he can't see camo that's a little bit absurd to me but it's fine so we're placing we are playing player 150. I don't know why it does that. Do you guys know why it does that? Sometimes it just says player instead of their actual name. Doesn't really make any sense to me. But at any rate, we've got the wizard tower, we've got the sub, and we've got the super monkey. Guys, if there's ever water on a map, I would suggest you get the sub. Some people roll with the buccaneer. I personally don't like the buccaneer as much as the sub. Um, the buccaneer is probably a little better late game um but personally i just love the sub i love the submarine it's uh multi darts and all that kind of stuff are just ridiculous it helps out a lot so we're around six guys our eco's at 318 right now we haven't sent too much um i'm just kind of hanging out watching my wizard right now waiting to get um <clears throat> his lightning bolt ability so we're gonna go ahead and get that now i'm gonna work back to eco um some of you guys requested down below mo we want to see you play with farms my man all right, guys, I'll play with farms soon, but honestly, the last couple of times I've played with farms, I've faced people that uh, roll eco, and it's stressful because you have to play differently when you play with farms. Like, if you play with farms, you almost always have to have dart monkeys, and yeah, dart monkeys are okay. I don't really like them, but um, this guy right here has got ninjas and... Uh, the wizard and he's doing okay with the farm right now. He's doing okay with the farm. Honestly, I guess it just depends on the map because some maps like this one that cross over and take a while and there's a lot of overlapping. It's okay because your um, towers can do a lot more damage that way. But now I just digress. I love eco. I know a lot of you guys are eco players. Some people are farm players. Um, but me personally, I'm an eco player. That's the majority of stuff that you're going to see on this channel. So what we're doing is we're just going to continue trying to make sure that we have a good defense as we get up to like round 20 because um, player 150, <laughs> I know his name's not player 150, 150 is the lives that he has. Player, we're going to call him player 150. Why? Because we can. Honestly, that's why. We're going to player 150. So player 150 right now, we need to be careful of him, especially since he has a farm because a lot of times people with farms like to rush you and it's annoying. Um, I was playing be right before this game, guys. And a guy just regrow rainbow rushed me. It's like, okay, you're cool. Anyone can do that. Literally anybody can do that. Anyone can do regrow rainbow rushes. Let's be honest. Uh, personally, I like going late game. I say that in almost every video because it's true. I like going late game. I think it's more fun. It gets more epic. The game isn't over as fast. I mean, regrow rainbow rush is like watching a, a 10 minute tv show like what if you what if a tv show was only 10 minutes that'd be boring you want 30 minutes you know what i'm saying you want a good solid 30 minutes to an hour tv show that's why i like going late game so we've got three subs right now two of them have triple darts two of them have advanced intel three of them now have advanced intel and what i've been doing lately guys some of y'all might know this the the people that have played a lot will know this um so as you go along in the game you're gonna start seeing camo and you're gonna start seeing lead now you have to prepare for that because camo um, comes fairly early in the game around 12 um, and so you have to make sure that you have something that can shoot camo at that point in time so what I've been doing since I really love subs is I'll put the subs down and I'll put down either a ninja or a wizard and just upgrade it to where it could see camo and then just use it for that. Just use it for that. Put it on the other side of the map. 
and then use my subs for damage. So that's one really good way that you can do it uh, when you're using the sub. If you're using something else, then you just need to make sure you have a ninja or a wizard so that you can see camo. And then you have to worry about lead, because once lead comes out, you can be in trouble. Now the wizard tower can shoot lead a lot sooner than the ninja can. The ninja can do it once you get splash bomb on it. Is it is flash bomb. Once you get flash bomb on it, splash bomb. <laughs> Cannonball. No. So once you get splash bomb on the ninja, then you can break lead. So you just have to be wary of that as you go along in the game. I don't think we've seen any lead up to this point, even though you can send it. The game doesn't start sending it until later. You can start sending it a lot sooner than the game does. So you just have to be wary. Of the person you're playing, kind of get a hold of their play style. At this point, I knew that this guy wanted to go late game, and I was like, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for wanting to go late game with me. It's so much more fun. Excuse me. So, at this point, we've got four subs, as you can see. We've got one wizard. He's doing good. Uh, I've only lost one balloon. And for the most part, we're just hanging out. Our eco is up to 875, like I always say. For some reason, I try and have a 1,000 eco. By around round 23 or 24, it just makes me feel better. And then we sit at a thousand eco for a little bit. Then we go up to 1500. Um, in, my, in my last video, if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. The video with 3000 eco, gnarly. That was an epic match. Really, really love that one. $3,000 every six seconds. Imagine if that was real life. Getting three thousand dollars every six seconds. What the heck would you buy? Comment that down below. What would you buy with three thousand dollars if you got it every six seconds? <laughs> such as that's such a ridiculous question. So here goes our first super monkey. We're gonna put him down thirty-five hundred dollars. Our eco at round twenty-two is over a thousand, so I'm happy. At this point in time, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna make focus strong, what I'm gonna make focus first. Um. And right now, at this point, I think that I have a couple of the subs focusing strong. Um, and I what I really want is the subs to focus first, and eventually for the super monkeys um, to focus strong, because they are going to do a lot of damage. So, we're sitting at 1,000 eco right now, just kind of hanging out, watching things, seeing what's going on over on the other side of the map with player 150. <laughs> We've got four subs. Three of them are upgraded. Up, oh, nope. Four of them are upgraded to ballistic missiles. I'm just gonna keep piling these in. Really, really make sure that I get a good defense in case anything tries to rush or in case I get any surprises. Get advanced intel on all of them. Get ballistic missile on all of them as well. And then once I build up a, a pretty good base, that's when I'm gonna start going after that eco again because at this point, a thousand isn't enough because the upgrade for the. Uh, for the Super Monkey, it's 3,500, and then it's 5,000, and then I believe it's 16,500. Um, I'm not too sure, we'll see that in a little bit, but it's a lot, it is a lot. I know that some of you already corrected me if I was wrong with that, we'll see it in just a second, so you don't really have to. But in a couple seconds now, it's 6, 12, 18, uh, whatever the heck it is, I don't even know my time table anymore, maybe that's because I'm commentating. But in just a couple of seconds, we will have enough to upgrade this super monkey um, to where he can uh, shoot laser plasma out of his eyes and do some serious work. So we've got him on strong right now. I don't have um, epic range on him yet, so there it is, plasma blast. Dang it, it, it just popped up and then we skipped it. What the heck was I doing? I couldn't see how much it cost. I think it's 16.5. Um, so we're, we're doing work. Everything's, everything's holding off really well. The Super Monkey's doing a great job right now at stopping anything that's coming around the corner. We're only around 26, guys. The other guy, Mr. Player 150, has got three wizards, two of them tornado, one of them uh, epic fire uh, lava phoenix wizard. It's not a phoenix wizard yet. And he's got a couple ninjas as well. Now, for him, it looks like he's having a lot of trouble holding these balloons off. He does have um, sabotage supply lines with his, uh, with his flash bomb ninja, which is good. You can see that's why his balloons are going so slow. So right now, I'm spamming that eco again. We're just now hitting 1500. We're doing good. So yeah, 16.5. Look at that. Your boy was right. 16,500. And then we're going to get epic range for him. And he's going to focus on um, the Moabs at this point because those are the strongest things on the screen. So we have him set to 
focus strong. Now, I'm going to get a couple more subs, and then we're going to go back to spamming those pinks, guys. We're going to spam the pink. A lot of you guys were telling me in the comments down below, Mo, quit spamming the blacks because they don't spawn as fast, or they don't fly out as fast. Yes, that's true. I don't really know why I was doing that. I was doing it for the $6. Uh, when the pink is a lot less so I'm not sure if mathematically it is true that you make more off of pink It may be I know they go out faster, but I'm not sure if they go out So you only make 3.6 off of pinks, but you make six off of black so Either way, I don't think that it's gonna make that big of a difference in the end of the game Which one you were spamming, but we're just gonna spam pinks because you guys are like mo freaking spam pinks otherwise we're gonna come to your house and we're going to egg it. That's what you guys are saying. I'm kidding. None of y'all said that. But we're up to 1,800 eco right now, guys. Doing work. We got a bunch of subs. We've got our super monkey um, with plasma blast. And we really want to get him up to sun god. Now, guys, guess. For those of you who don't know, guess how much the ultimate left tree is for the super monkey. Just go ahead and guess. Guess what it is. Yes, it costs. Guess how much it costs. One hundred thousand dollars that's a lot of freaking money 16.5 just to upgrade to the sun god is a lot in itself that's like a max helicopter or um a max sub max sub is 20 um so what we're doing here guys is we're saving up you can see we've got 13,000 right there i'm just waiting for that 16.5 we're gonna do it we're gonna get it look at that Dude, easy easy peasy we are absolutely killing it the other guy, player 150, still has a completely full screen. He's still got a completely full screen of balloons. There we go with the first sun god. I don't know why I'm congested right now, but I do apologize for that, guys. Um, we've got our first sun god. God, how freaking cool is that? The sun god is epic. Look at it. It's doing work. It's focusing down balloons like crazy. We're getting all of these subs over here. I'm boosting them up and we're chilling. We're at 1800 eco and I uh, decide, I'm not sure exactly when, but I'm gonna decide in just a second that I need to get it up even more. We're at 30, uh, round 33 and we've gotta get our eco up to like 3000, at least 2500. So we're gonna throw down another super monkey and I'm like, what do I need to do with his range? And I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just move him right here. We can upgrade his range. We're going to go ahead and start off with the laser eyes. <laughs> laser eyes don't really do that much damage, honestly. I mean, they do okay. Plasma is really when the super monkey starts doing some serious work. Um, but otherwise, the sun god is where it's at. I didn't go with the robo monkey. I know that it's pretty crazy. He shoots out these green balls, if I remember correctly, from, bl from playing him in BGD5. But as you can see right now, the Sun God and the Super Monkey are just shutting it down, guys. We're holding it down right now. Look, all we have left are the BFBs, and Player 150's got a couple Moabs and some balloons left over. Our BFBs have already started popping. His are just being tickled. Both of ours are down. Both of his are up. We know we're doing work right now. We're holding it off. We're absolutely killing it so i'm gonna sell a couple subs here i think no i'm setting them all to first so that's what i'm doing i'm setting all the subs to first right now and setting my super monkeys to um strong all right so we're gonna get this other one right here all we need is four more seconds at this point to upgrade and have two sun gods there we go ladies and gentlemen we have got two come on what are you doing hit the button there we go <laughs> we've got two sun gods right there now I'm thinking, round 35, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to want to build another super monkey, but I'm pretty sure that I get my eco up more. I'm not sure why it isn't up yet. We're going to go ahead and build another super monkey right there, give him those laser eyes, and then now I think is when we start building up our eco, but I've been saying that for the past couple minutes. Um, you can see no balloons are even showing up on our screen. We're doing so much damage to these things that no balloons are even showing up on our screen, and player 150 has so many balloons on his screen, it's ridiculous. So... We're already up to 14,000. There we go. We sold a couple subs, guys, and now I'm getting my third sun god. Oh my goodness. Third sun god incoming right here. Where is it at? Boom. Yes. Three sun gods. Look at them. They are absolutely melting the Moabs, guys. These sun gods are crazy. Look at that. Look at his screen compared to mine. We're owning it. They're, I mean, it's just complete destruction from the sun gods. Um... We've still got 1,800 uh, eco, 
and I could have sworn that I got it up to over 2,000, guys, but I guess not. I guess I was just hanging out at that 1,800. We've got three of them. They're doing work, guys. These BFBs are coming in, and our sun gods are just laughing at them. They're like, I'm sorry, do not realize that we're sun gods. We're ancient Aztec sun gods, and we're doing some serious work. I get that wizard. I upgrade it. I don't go full phoenix on it because I want to get another freaking sun god so we're gonna get a fourth sun god right here actually we're gonna get a fourth super monkey that we want to upgrade to sun god but as you can see player 150 has got a massive herd of balloons coming on his side now in just a little bit guys we're gonna start getting some serious lag but the crazy thing is we don't get it i haven't i didn't get as much lag this time as i have in the past because there weren't as many balloons because our sun gods were just melting them look at that they're absolutely melt that was like five moabs and they just got completely owned here i go start spinning my eco i knew that i did it so we get that up over 2000 i'm not worried about a thing right now i'm not worried about a thing i was just checking right there the time that was left on the recording we're not worried about a thing we've got 2100 eco and we are straight chilling player 150 he's worried guys he's sweating profusely he's pouring water on his face he's uh, pouring ice cubes down his back <laughs> he doesn't know what to do right now because he's like okay I've got so many upgrades I've got my banana farm is it even a banana factory at this point I can't even see because it's hidden um, so he's probably not his, his eco definitely isn't as good as mine because my eco at this point is pretty freaking clutch did he sell his banana farm he may have sold his banana farm and those bananas are guys how did those bananas get on top of those balloons on his screen? You see that? <laughs> they were on top. But there we go. Four sun gods. Absolutely ridiculous. I honestly feel like if my opponent had better uh, towers and had worked a little bit better throughout the game, that we could have gone to like round 48. Because as you can see, these sun gods are absolutely melting everything guys look at his screen compared to mine we've got three bfbs four bfbs on ours he's got like 17 bfbs i didn't send anything to him and our sun gods are just melting it all this is where the lag started look at his screen look at the top guys all those rainbow regions <laughs> are just flying through and he's not losing any points because of all the lag that is going on but look at his side of the screen guys we almost got five sun gods i really wanted to get my fifth one we had four and a half practically because that other monkey was almost there guys this was an epic battle if you enjoyed make sure that you hit that like button for me share this with your friends i am going to be posting a lot more balloons tower defense battles why you ask because i love it i'm having so much fun playing i'm sure that you guys can tell that especially when you watch the streams and things like that we're having a blast i'm gonna end it here guys Thank you so much for watching. I can't express that enough. I love you all so very much. I love you for your support. You guys rock. And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and you pop on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.